Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you're all doing well and yeah, I thought I would upload just a quick video. I've been branching out into some craft items recently, yet I haven't had time to do much crafting or nails at the minute. Um, I am in my living room still. I don't have a nail room as such anymore. And um, yeah, I've recently got a maker for Christmas and I haven't had a chance to use that yet. I do have the Cricut Joy and it was mainly to do nail decals, well, nail stickers. And then I like I seen how much stuff you could make on them and I thought, right, I'm gonna go and make it. So I got the maker for Christmas. Now in my living room, I'm gonna flip you around and show you basically my area. Someone did ask me on Instagram if I would show a video of my setup and what I've got. So this isn't a really in-depth video. So if you really want to see an in-depth one, I can go into more detail on where I've got. So yeah, I'm still doing nails. It's mainly just like a hobby, basically. I haven't had time to do like videos or pictures or sitting even have a nail plow or anything recently. Like I'm really, really like lacking. So yeah, I've got my own nails done, which I did. I think they were done last week. So yeah, I thought, right, um, I'm, like I said, I'm still in my living room. I have my nail area and sort of my craft area. I want to go into stamping, but I don't just want to make like cards because I want to make like, throw some ideas at me. I've got my maker, I've got my joy, um, I've got loads of stamping. I've bought the Gemini die cut machine, so I've bought some dies. But I don't just want to make cards and I don't like... I want to make things, but I don't know what I want to make, if that makes sense. I've got loads of nice Spectrum Noir pens and um, stamping pads. Basically, like, I've got all sorts, and I'm like, I've still got what to do with them. I want to do things, but I don't know what I want to do, if sort of that makes sense. So, yeah, um, I've got an area in the other corner where I have, I just got a second-hand laptop, not a laptop, a computer, and I got a brand-new printer for Christmas, just so I can print some decals. Some shelves have been put up and my nail desk is no longer um the one with the fan and all are in that I went back to that I originally had. If you're watching me the video, you'll know what I mean. So if I don't want to do with people's nails, I can just pull my other nail table in. It's just in the room next door. But at the minute, I've got my area more for crafting. And if I'm doing my own nails, I just use the same table. So I'm going to like try and flip you around and then sorry, and show you. Like, yeah, I'm still in my living room, so, which is here. That over there is where I've got my computer and my printer. And on the shelf is just a few glitters. I'll just take you over. Chris put some shelves up for me and just some glues and spare printer ink. So, yeah, so I have this little setup here. And sometimes the bear knows it if she wants to print something out. So I'm going to swing you around here. So this is my setup at the minute. Um, like I said, I'm trying to condense things down to make it a craft area and a nail area. So over here, I've just got some regular glitters. Um, up here is just a mishmash. I need a bit more of a better organisation. My practice hand up there, I just have like flowers and props and me hand dressed. Here is glitter shapes like the LV um, ones, butterflies, Christmas ones. This one here, this rack, this is my daughter's because it's just some random gel polishes and glitters that I didn't want and I've given them to her. She just takes this down and sits at the table when she wants to play about. These were the inks that I made before, the marble inks, using Sharpies. These are just some pigments um, and like random bits and bobs, crumbs. Here I have all my Premier Gels. I have them there. And I've recently been getting the SBD London ones, which are there. Um, these are acrylics that I made with, is it Mika, Mika powders? And... These are my airbrushing inks, gel paints, 
and these are just you know to do marble nails if you don't want to use sharpies these are just on amazon not amazon yeah i think some of them amazon i think some of them aliexpress they're brilliant those are the same and these are some glitter bells that i want in a glitter bells um calendar competition i have my ansel paints gel paints in there and random ones in the bottom of there so basically i've just put everything over here this cricket joy is my daughter's we got her for christmas and it is going to go in her bedroom but we're waiting for a new setup coming for her and i've just had my lamp and my nail drill on my table this is the melody susie one i absolutely love it um but i also have another one brand new brand spanking new in the box never been used basically i've done a video where i've plugged it in just so you can see that it works so i know it works when it gets posted and whoever wants to buy it knows it works and if you're in the uk i'm actually selling it for 45 pounds and that includes your postage so if you are interested and you are in the uk and you do want to buy a melody susie file let me know because i am selling one of those it's actually in one of these cupboards and here is just random crap like literally where i've got nothing else no way to put anything else here i've been getting all these cards um so i can make things but like i said i don't just want to make card cards because i don't really see many people and i would just be left with loads of cards so i don't know what to do with um this is all an old photo album that i've got just so i can put pictures in if i want to over here i have my random nail bits these are mainly car powders and stuff like my liquids that i reach for when i need them right you can have those they just need to go away my brushes and these are just a mismatch of everything i've got glitters in here like that shouldn't be there the bed put them in this morning because you had a poly face and i need to keep those nearby so i can grab them um more glitters in there and gems so like i said these are just everything's just starting to get chucked in the drawers because i have no room these are my files and i've got more files coming so god knows where i'm going to put those these are random swatch sticks and tips. These are my Smith stamp and draw. So I'm sorry if I'm going really fast. I'm just trying to whiz through this video because I don't want it to go on forever and I'm expecting the kids coming in from school. This one is more, see look, I can't even open, is more nail tips. These are ones I don't really use. This is more crystals and random bits and bobs and my airbrush and my junk is in there so um yeah i've just popped this up here because that's if i'm sitting here doing my nails i can just grab these these are all like tapes and uh, ink stampers watercolor pens in these pink drawers there's a tiktok video that shows you what's in those but if you want a more in depth i can show you these are all nail products and basically i've dedicated my desk to these two drawers to my craft items so i've got my transfer paper on this big unit i've got my um stamping platform and random bits some more stamping inks pens bits and bobs these pens are the ones off amazon i think they were 20 pound for 80 i've got these ones that i believe you can use the scribblicious ones in your makeup um i have a joy my maker just random bits and tapes and my files here i have my vinyls my transfer tape my gemini's there and those are my spectrum pens alcohol pens on the wall i've got all my glam and glitz which i've just been getting loads more you can just sort of see them under there these are my acrylics mainly from rachel wilders and the ones on the bottom are the ones i've made these are all my glitter bells and around here because i had to stick the shelf up last week is just some more random gel polishes some gel liners, me stamping polishes, some glitters 
and nail art um, paints and my swatch sticks. I'll just pull this chair out. And here I've put my mats on the wall for my maker and my joy. Um, my top drawer is just random stuff that like I'll need to grab all of my glasses, some tape, batteries. This drawer will be getting sorted out again because I'm sick of doing it out. This is just all random but as well brushes. These are all like alphabet, so those are going to go in a case. Some spare pen refills, some more glues. This one, this is just the mat where obviously for my props. And I've got like literally a heat on bottom tool. Um, where we make my key rings with, my labelling machines in there. Like I have been buying, like I've spent a lot of money getting loads of craft stuff and now I don't know what to do with it. Just some vinyl, some stencils. This is just a random jar with paints. Some of the Cricut Joy vinyl. And this is all my rolls of vinyl. On the other side, I have all sort of me pens and things. I've got some pencils and these are all tri blend spectrum pens and watercolor pens and there's absolutely lots of goes right back but they need a good start out again and these drawers i doubled them up so if i pull this one out you can see i've took the base out and those are my stamps and some dies and i've been doing a bit of organization today whereas i've been putting them into CD cases so I need to catalogue all of those I'm just trying to put them back in because if I don't they'll just end up getting flung and do some wipes to wipe my stampers so I've doubled that drawer up and I've done the same with this drawer which is I've got colouring books card um, oh, like this, there's all sorts of coloured card, coloured books so colouring books, I love colouring in, so I'm starting to colour in. I've got loads of cards and books at the back. Like, and that's how I saw it, and that's why I've doubled it up so I can fit like my paper in and my files in like that. And I've just got my mat and things on there. So this is my setup, guys. Um, like I said, I do want to start doing some stamping but i don't just want to do cards like i'm thinking about just doing stamping make some pictures and designs and keeping them in a file just just like as a collection basically but yeah throw some ideas at me because i am absolutely stumped i've got lots of things that i can be doing and be using and i don't want to just make something for the hell of making it and then just leaving it sort of like stuck there and not being used and it being a waste and I know that like, you can make cards and sell them and things like that. But like I say, I don't really, um, I'll flip it around. That back. But yeah, um, I'm, I'm wanting to make things and do things, but I really don't know what I want to do. I'm going to start doing some t-shirts for the kids. I've been doing some key rings for family and friends. And the kids have been doing some um, key rings. Chelsea's got a joy and we're stumped what she can make. We have been looking on YouTube some ideas. So I bought some canvases because she wants to do some things on some canvases. I do want to start having nail players because I've got so much brand new products. And like basically I don't know what to do. I've been making some, like having a play about making some nail, nail decals and back myself in head. So I'm going to give those a go. I'm going to cut those and see if those will work and what I can do with those. So... Yeah, I thought, right, I'm going to do a quick video and just to let you guys know where I've been up to. Um, I, I did put a post on yesterday because I need to go and see the physiotherapist about my wrist. I found a couple of lumps in my arm, which I got checked and was told it was fatty tissue. But I feel like they're laying on a nerve and now it's affecting me, me wrist around my thumb area. That's my tan, my fake tan. Um, when I'm wanting to move my wrist and it keeps locking and it really, really hurts. So I don't think I'm going to be able to do friends and family's nails anymore because I don't want that to be um, a nuisance. I don't want to be starting doing some nails and realise I can't finish it. So yeah, I want to go like on some craft side of things. I want to do nails just as a hobby, 
get me Glamela's hand out, get some nail sticks out and sit and have a nail plane. Try some of my decals, try some of my nail stickers, make some more nail stickers on me, my joy and my maker. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping like I can throw myself some inspiration or you guys can give me some inspiration. And I'm going to start making things on the on the maker. So yeah, um, sorry it was just a quick video, but it was basically someone asked me about how many set there was and I thought, right, I'll do a quick one now before the kids come badging through the door from school. So anyway, guys, chuck some ideas at me. Let me know what you think um, I should do. Because like I said, I've got all these nice things and I just haven't made anything with them at all yet. Apart from about 10 key rings. So right, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. So thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye.